go surfing now, everybody's learning how, come on a safari with me. In this episode of Comp TV, we're talking about the drumming style of Dennis Wilson from The Beach Boys. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, was Dennis Wilson the first open-handed drummer? Well, he may or may not have been, but he was definitely one of the first to be on television shown with this playing style. And that's one thing that the Beatles and the Beach Boys share in common, among a lot of other things. Dennis Wilson was also left-handed, like Ringo, whereas Ringo would do his fills with the left hand, but still leading with the right on the hi-hat. Dennis would play what's called open-handed, where you lead on the left hand and you have your right symbol to the left. That was a unique thing to him. And I know what you're saying by now. Oh, Dennis Wilson didn't play on any Beach Boys records. He actually played on a handful of them. Brian Wilson just liked to use Hal because he was more reliable, but Brian Wilson said himself, a lot of people just assume Dennis didn't play on any Beach Boys records because he didn't play on Pet Sounds. When you watch Dennis Wilson live, he's a very capable drummer being on the Ed Sullivan Show, which back then there was no Spotify or YouTube or anything like that. That had to have influenced a lot of young people to pick up the drumsticks and learn how to play some drums. So again, back to his drumming style, open-handed. He would do a lot of drags on his drum fills, and you can hear that on the intro to Surf and Safari. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Now also in the main groove of Surf and Safari, he is playing the surf beat, but one thing that he does with his surf beat that a lot of drummers back then did, but it kind of became lost in translation, was actually you're accenting the and of two, the two and, one, two and, three, four, one, da, 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 da. So that second clap, you're actually accenting the second one, and the first one, you're playing even more quiet, almost like a ghost note. So that's something that was very distinct to the way that he would play the surf beat, and it's definitely something that's influenced me to play the surf beat in that way as well. Another thing that he would do, since he was open-handed, is he actually had room to swing his arm like this. And if you pay attention to the Ed Sullivan performance of I Get Around, you can see him doing just that. Like I was saying, Dennis Wilson definitely played on Beach Boys records. You can actually hear him doing a drum solo. Yes, a lot of times Ginger Baker is credited for having the first rock and roll drum solo. Well, Dennis Wilson did it two years prior to Baker. And here is my rendition of Denny's drums. <laughs>
And there you have it, a little bit of Dennis Wilson's drumming style. Yes, he didn't play on all the Beach Boys records, but he did have a very unique and distinct style, was definitely influenced to a lot of young people in the 60s, and he just seemed like a cool guy. So, R.I.P. Dennis Wilson, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.